there's a Twitter bot that basically is just Gordon Ramsay, um, like fake Gordon Ramsay things. It was like, hang on a minute, um, Kitchen Nightmares bot, and one of them was really fucking hilarious. Like customer, like mistakes chicken for chicken, something really dumb like that. But here, look, fridge sprays enough greasy soup for 82 months. It even generates thumbnails. Gordon Ramsay tastes appalling fake sauce from lying manager. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay spits out tragic lobster, destroys the fish tank. Delusional bar shouts out at over 951 portions of arrogant lobster rolls. Livid chef hates hunger. Stubborn waitress loses cook-off to Gordon Ramsay's caviar. The kitchen with no bowl or glasses. <laughs> Empty waiter refuses to cook pasta. Ramsay chucks bucket out a window, which he, he actually kind of did that. Like he chucked a microwave out of a window at one point. I just remembered that this existed and had to, had to tell you all about it because uh, this is the only thing that the internet makes better. By creating bots, life is good. Ready for the robot uprising now. Hey, my, some of my favorite things that I've ever come across online are Gan Breeder, um, fucking AI Dungeon, Talk to Transformer. So, while it's true that not all bots are amazing or good, there are many that I love, and those are the ones that I love. Just, like, quality content for champs. Raw Chef steals chicken from pork. Gordon Ramsay furious. Someone said, I hate how addicting his shows are. I know. I fucking know. Chef pisses out window. Onto Gordon Ramsay's chicken. Chef lies about piss in disgusting, arrogant kitchen. Chef cooks pants. Homer not satisfied. Alright, it's time for me to stop, I think. Yeah, I made the mistake of, again, YouTube lately has been going mental with the Gordon Ramsay recommendations just because like, compilations of best moments from his show or whatever, like Kitchen Nightmares. And I made the mistake of watching one of them while I was eating yesterday. And I started, like, feeling physically, like, repulsed and sick. Because there was, um, an old mushroom risotto that stuck to the pan. And it looked like puke. Like, it was, like, many days old. And he's like, OH GOD! It was really, really, really gross. That was like, and usually I can look at gross shit on like a movie or a TV show or whatever while I'm eating and it's not much of a problem, that genuinely disgusted me. Or like someone that painted their tuna red. Like they dyed their tuna fish red to make it look like it was better tuna. But they used food coloring. <laughs> and then the show always goes the same way. Oh god, you don't care. You, I do, chef. I have the best food, chef. You don't care! You lost your passion for cooking! No, chef. No, please! Gordon, I have a family! But they cook like fucking shit, too! I was shocked because there was one case where I was watching the show about... He was talking about this this one... Disgusting... There was like one disgusting meal after another, and he was like... This crab is rather good. So he doesn't just say the food is shit. Like, I think he genuinely will say something is good if it's good. Well done. I was shocked. Like, every other meal was terrible from the restaurant, but at one point he was like, this crab is nice. <laughs> oh, you guys want my recipe for delicious hot dog ravioli? I'll take, excuse me, yes. I'll take the crab rangoon and the hot dog ravioli, please. Yes, chef. I just, I, sorry, I, I don't mean to keep bringing up Gordon Ramsay, but I, I guess I also kind of do, but I have to. Because I love that he chooses, I've said this on stream before, I'm sure of it, but... I love when he goes to these shitty restaurants with 80 things on their menus. He always has to get the, the dish that's easiest to fuck up. Which makes sense, I get it, but it's just fucking hilarious. Like this little shitty hole in the wall place. That has, like, three customers at all times, at most. Yes, I'll have, uh, the rack of lamb. Crab rangoon. Lobster bisque. Someone said, I wonder how often does he get food poisoning? I wouldn't be surprised if it happens every now and then, but the dude seems to spit out most of the food he eats at these fucking places, so... God, it's terrible. It's awful. Dry. It's fucking dry. 